Hello friends and welcome back to my channel, Garden Well, Eat Well. We're into another new gardening season and some of those spring flowers are just on the verge of blooming now. It's that time to get going on our gardens again. So in this video, I want to talk about germinating your seed, but not the way you think. We're still going to give the seed exactly what it needs, some warmth and moisture, but we're going to do it without using any soil. <laughs> no soil at all. Why would you want to do that? Well, there are many reasons, but sometimes you want to verify the seed you have is really going to germinate. Maybe it's old or wasn't stored properly, but if you take the chance and plant it, you could end up with little or even no results at all after waiting a couple weeks, and that's just a lot of time wasted. So many gardeners use this trick to pre-germinate the seed, and it's so simple. All it is is just putting them into a wet paper towel. I'm going to try germinating these tomato seeds. They're a small grape variety that I cleaned and saved a, a few years ago. Unfortunately, they did get a little damp while they were stored, and you always have to be careful about that. But I'm hoping that these are still good, and this is the quickest way to check. So just spray the paper towel a bit. You don't want it dripping wet. Just damp enough to keep the seeds moist. Sprinkle out your seeds and lay them out evenly with a, a little bit of spacing. It'll be easier to separate them later if they're not all clumped together. I usually give them one more quick spray and that's to help hold them in place while I fold the paper towel over them. And then gently press everything down because you want all the seeds to make good contact. Oh, oh and don't forget to add a label, especially if you're doing a bunch of different seeds at a time. You don't want them all mixed up. The paper towel always has to stay damp, so the best protection for that is to keep them in a sealed container. And whenever you open it to check on them, you can give it a spray if you feel the paper is starting to dry out. The seeds also need to be warm to germinate. Room temperature is really all you need. I've never found it necessary to use a heating pad with this method. And then put it anywhere you can easily keep an eye on them. For me, I just leave mine on the kitchen counter and they always do well. Some seeds do need a little light to germinate, but don't put it in direct sunlight. The container could heat up very quickly. Here's one that's getting a bit too warm. The roots and the new seedlings, they're, they're going to get cooked and you'd have to start all over again. If you check on them every day to see how well they're doing, you'll be able to spot which seeds have germinated easily. You're just looking for any sign of their white roots. So we just want to separate those out and get them planted. Because the seeds can be so small to work with, I usually wait until the roots are maybe the width of your finger. It makes them much easier to pick them up that way. Or you could try using some tweezers. So to start, just carefully pull them away from the paper towel. And to actually get them planted, I, I found it's easier and quicker to lay them all down on the surface first. Then we can gently push them into the soil. It, it has to be loose and not compacted at all, otherwise you'll crush and damage the roots. For that, I use this Japanese-style chopstick. It's, it's my favorite tool when it comes to working with seedlings. Carefully press down on the middle of the root. It'll bend, and, and that's okay. They may be fragile, but they're tough enough to handle this. And make sure that your soil is free from any stones or any large objects. If the seedlings get pressed against them, they're, they're going to get hurt. And then pat down the soil a bit and, and there. The seedlings have now been safely planted. And when you're only planting the seeds that have germinated, you'll be certain that what you are planting really will grow. For the ones left over in the paper towel, some do look like they are starting to germinate, but most are still not doing anything yet. Those seeds could be dead, but you, you don't know. They may just be a little slow. Just leave them to sit in the paper towel for a few more days and keep checking on them. It's a great technique, and it works well, but it can have one drawback. The issue is, once they germinate, you really do need to plant them. Now that kind of sounds silly and pretty obvious, but we all get busy and sometimes forgetful, and if you go back and check on your seedlings a couple days later than you should have, well, you can find that they've grown quite a lot, maybe a lot more than you would have expected. Here's what I mean. Not only have these tomato plants intertwined with each other, but the big problem now is that if you look at their roots, they've actually worked their way into the fibers of the paper towel. They've even started growing through to the other side. They're, they're completely embedded. With luck, you may be able to gently pull on some of the stems to release them. 
But when they're this bad, if you tug on them too hard, the roots and the stems are just going to snap. And this is not just about tomatoes. This can happen to any seedling you start this way. Here's another example with some Swiss chard. I actually caught these in time. They, they're not as bad as the tomatoes, but they're getting close. It's, it's a real nuisance, and you may feel like starting over, but you don't have to. Although it looks like a complete mess, if, if you have the patience, many of these can still be saved. And here's the trick. You just need to start tearing the paper towel apart, and that'll help release the roots. With a little work, you can separate them fairly easily, and although they start up all tangled, the more seedlings you release, the, the quicker it goes. So here, I'm just going to go through and separate as many as I can. And feel free to tear up the paper as much as you need. We really don't need it anymore. It's, it's pretty well served its purpose. But if there are any that you just can't take out without damaging and you really want to save those seedlings, there is one final step you can do. And that's to plant that piece of paper towel itself. The seedlings will grow and the towel, well, that'll ultimately break down in the soil. And since you may be planting a bunch of seedlings in just one spot this way, you may have to do some thinning out later. So for those seedlings we were able to separate, we can take those now and move them into the normal cell packs. We'll use the same technique as we did earlier. Again, just lay them out on top of the soil. But because these are so much longer, we'll, we'll need to use some extra care this time. Also, you can see that since they were laying inside the paper towel for so long, some of them look like they've gotten pretty twisted. But not to worry. Once they're planted, they'll still grow properly and survive just fine. It's vital, though, that the soil be as loose as possible to get these set in place without hurting them. That's the key. We'll work them down with that same tool again. It may look like I'm pushing hard, but I'm really not. I'm just slowly easing them into the soil and making sure that the stem and the root get buried without getting crushed. If you feel that you, you seem to be pushing too hard and the soil is just not giving way, then back off a bit. Use the tool to loosen up the soil a bit more, and then try again. And don't be too concerned if you bury the leaves a little. As a plant quickly recovers, the stem will push those leaves back up. And in a few days, they'll emerge as healthy young tomato plants. Although this technique for germinating your seeds does have its problems, you do get good results. But I have another way, and it's much more forgiving. You won't have to worry about those roots at all, and it'll save you all that hassle, even if you completely forgot about your seedlings for several days. It's the same method, but with one important change, and I'm sure you'll want to start some of your seeds off this way every year. I'll show you what that is in my next video. So make sure to subscribe now if you haven't already, and I'll, I'll see you next time here on Garden Well, Eat Well.